And the Pine Siskin eruption uh, that I've never seen anything like in my lifetime is now into its fourth day. And I just got uh, done hiking up and down the uh, mountain behind the house. I'm a little bit out of breath, but I thought I'd uh, relax on the deck and turn myself into a human bird feeder. These siskins in. This is about as much fun as you can have with little birds. Oh my goodness. This is about the most fun you can have in your backyard right here. Migrating siskins. Three on each knee. Two in my hand over here, which you can't see. Hey, there's room for everybody, buddy. Uh, don't fight. Okay, so I have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine siskins on me at one point here. This is crazy. There we go. Had to get the sweetest little birds. Okay guys, chill man, chill. Now you're going to hear some voices and some crashing noises probably in the distance while I'm filming this because some people are moving into the house above and uh, have let the movers use our driveway to uh, park their truck in so they're out there like slamming stuff around. You might hear some talking in the background. They spilled so much on the ground that there's a bunch of them on the ground now and there's just like each one has a one knee for each one and one hand. Oh, come on, guys. Sure. This is so much fun. It's amazing how much wind they produce with those little wings. Expecting a tropical storm tomorrow, so maybe that's why they're acting so uh, intense. Maybe they can sense the coming storm.
You can't have a whole knee for yourself, dude. They're really attractive little birds. I mean, they're very similar to goldfinches. They're uh, very gregarious. One of the problems that siskins have, though, is because they form in such groups and they're prone to catching diseases and spreading amongst themselves. Yeah, you got a free knee over here, guys. The right knee is free. Believe it or not, I think they're actually getting full. When you think about how small they are, what they're eating is shelled uh, hearts of sunflower, black oil sunflower seeds. So, I mean, <laughs> some of these guys are knocking down 8 and 10 sunflower seed hearts, so I'm not sure exactly where they can put it all, but they're going to stock up on all this high energy, high fat food and then head further south, I guess. close up on one of them here. Cutest little birds. Precious. And this guy over here has been on my hand for a long time eating a massive amount of seeds. Need to wipe your beak there, buddy. I can't imagine much better therapy than sitting here with uh, siskins all over you for Yeah, he just, he's just been there for like 10 minutes. Like how many sunflower seeds can they eat? It's better than watching TV. And there's one down on my shoe. This guy's funny, he's like wiping his beak all over. But at least these, uh, like our sunflower seeds, are actually pretty oily. Really full of protein and energy for these little guys.
They keep wiping their beak on my fingers, cute. These two are cute, they learn to share. When you're when you're having some fun with these siskins, turning yourself into a human bird feeder, you want to make sure you uh, you know, uh, t put your clothes in the dirty clothes and uh, wash yourself up good afterwards because, uh, you know, the birds are cute and all, but uh, they, they, they themselves will get salmonella from each other. And humans can catch diseases from birds if you're not careful. So, you know, the main thing is uh, if you're going to enjoy these birds, just remember to uh, practice, uh, you know, common sense hygiene. Same thing applies if you're cleaning your bird feeders or cleaning the area around your bird feeders. You always want to make sure you... Uh, uh, either wear gloves and wash up real good afterwards. What's up, little guy?